what is going on guys we are starting this video a little bit different today or tonight should I say um, we are starting tonight I am actually still in the gray car I think I figured out what is wrong or why the white car was leaking fuel and we'll test that tomorrow which will be in a few minutes for you guys because I'm not doing very much tonight instead I'm going to Taco Bell right now to get some food because I'm fucking hungry and uh, we will go from there whenever I get to Taco Bell and get some food I'll discuss what I think is wrong with this car we are at Taco Bell waiting in line I am starving and I have not had anything to eat since lunch today and it is 9 o'clock now all right boys taco time was a success all right everybody so what I was gonna say about the uh, the car is um, there's no way that it can be a fuel leak from that because uh, there is fuel somehow in the fuel pump socket which means it somehow was flooding over that and it makes no sense that they, there couldn't um, there's no way that it, flood, it did that so what I'm thinking is when the hose was undone off the fitting uh, when it got hot that day uh, pressure released through the uh, fuel pressure regulator under in the engine bay and it came under the car and uh, shot some fuel up through that hose and because it wasn't attached to the fitting it squirted everywhere all over it and so I know you can't really see that right now, but tomorrow, which will be basically the next minute for you guys, um, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'll explain it. So, see you guys tomorrow. All right, everybody, we're back here at the white car. So, let me uh, show you guys what I'm talking about when I say that I don't think that it was leaking from the uh, fuel pump access hatch slash assembly thing. So, you see, there is fuel inside of that plug. So that means that fuel would have had to have flooded over all this to get in there. And I just don't see how that's possible because it drops off right there under the car. So what my hypothesis is, is that when this hose was unplugged, it was undone and angled right here that way. And so what I think happened was when it got hot that next day, after I, because I left the hose undone, when it got hot, I believe that when the, uh, it released pressure off of the uh, fuel pressure regulator in the engine bay and the fuel that it released shot through here and shot that way that would explain why there was fuel over here there was fuel around here there was fuel in here and that there's fuel in there there wasn't it didn't look like there was any over here so what I'm assuming is that it just shot fuel out over that way and that's why it's in there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some q-tips and dry that fuel out in the um, connector and we're going to crank the car up and we will evaluate the situation then so stay tuned <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pop the hood now and uh, eyeball the fuel pressure regulator real quick. All right, so fuel pressure is looking fine. It's reading about 42 pounds right now under vacuum, which is what it needs to be set at. And um, we're looking good under here. So uh, I guess the next logical step now would be to go to town and put gas in it and see if it leaks so um, I guess that's gonna be our next step guys so stay tuned We are here at 
here at the gas station. I'm about to try to get some gas and we will see if it leaks. All right, boys, I just put 1702 and 93 octane in this car. So, uh, and nothing leaked. So, let's uh, see if we got a full tank or not. So, okay, I'm really happy. I'm pretty positive we fixed the uh, fuel leak, which is an amazing thing because I've been having an issue with it. It's been leaking fuel. I feel like it's been throwing my gas gauge off a little bit because one time the uh, car died right before E. So uh, yeah, that's that's awesome. That's awesome, and uh, we will drive the car home and update from there if anything happens or whatever. So uh, stay tuned. All right, guys. So we made it home. The car is driving fine. Uh, there's been no sign at all of a leak. So uh, and it's holding fuel pressure just fine, not dropping or anything. So I'm pretty positive we have the leak fixed. So if you liked the video, subscribe for more. Drop a like on the video. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace, guys.